Hey, 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 I'm Lily, and welcome back to Lily's Raw Reactions, where over here I give you my raw, raw reaction. Some people like, hey, and some people don't. Uh, but that being said, let's get into this reaction. So tonight, this reaction is about my jazzy life. And y'all know that I told y'all that Jazz was all sickly and everything, and her grandma had passed, so I was giving her a break. Now I'm back on that. Okay, now I'm back on that. And y'all know what I'm trying to say, okay? One of her recent uploads saying that the twins meet the new speech therapist, etc., etc. Let's get into it. So we start the video off by um, 12 6, fixing and preparing the, um, the kids' um, book bags. And she's putting a lunch bag in there. And y'all, when I tell you these little old book bags, Lord. I don't know where they books gonna go because she didn't put the lunch bag in there and it's taking up all the room. So I'm like, they must don't take anything else to school but like a folder or something because, baby, there's no room for anything else to go in it. So next she shows to the two oldest girls putting, I think, like a snack in their book bag and I see their hair braided and it has a little borax, which I don't particularly like. I hate braids. Like, I know some braids look so cute on kids. So, I don't like all the, I don't like all the different color braids, okay? Let's just put one, two, three, or four on there and call it a day. We got a whole two, three, four, five, ten packs on the head, and I don't like it. Meanwhile, Aiden think he about to go to school, too. He got his hat, his trusty, his trusty hat, and he got his book bag on. And I know why he got the hat on, because his mama still hasn't gotten him a haircut. With Chris talking about he about to go to barber school, they still ain't got this man here because he ain't tried to go in there and practice on the man's head or nothing. I put money by towards the end of this video. This man does not have a haircut. Let's go. So what I'm trying to figure out is when was this video filmed? Because last I knew that you had, you know, the 19. And I know you're not letting them kids go to school. Did you let the school know? See, this is where the problem comes in at. Well, people don't let, you know, um... People that they coming in contact knowing what's going on, trying to be embarrassed. It's nothing to be embarrassed about, okay? We all know that this stuff is going around. People are catching it. People are dying from it. So why are you not telling the school this? So your kids, she don't want to deal with those kids, y'all. Them kids are supposed to stay quarantined for 14 days, okay? 14 days, if not 21. But I know most places are saying 14 to 21 days. Them kids not supposed to, they don't care if they don't have it. Someone in their home has it. They're supposed to be at home. And I'm pretty sure y'all, y'all know what's going on. Y'all know that she's not supposed to be sending these kids to school. So I need to know. I need to get up in her chat. I need, I need to know. When was this film? Was this before the 19 or was this after the 19? Because, honey, you need to be spraying this stuff down. Like, I told y'all, my three boys, they go to private school. They get out here at 1 o'clock each day. And when they come in the house, they take shoes off. They're taking shoes off in um, the washroom. And I'm spraying their book bags down. They have to literally strip down in the washroom and put their clothes in the washer. I don't know. I'm not playing it. She up here touching. You know she is nasty with her nose, y'all. You know it. And I don't even, I didn't even want to touch on this because I hate that she got that. But she, we already know it was bound to happen. I told y'all on some videos way back when she was in Five Below, she rubbing her nose, touching on stuff, not using sanitizer, not having masks on the kids. She barely wear masks herself. I never see this girl wash her hands. I never see her put some sanitizer on when she get through messing with her nose. Yeah, she just rubs it everywhere, touch water bottles, touch kids stuff, touch cameras, touch phones. She's just straight nasty, okay? So, it was bound to happen, even though, like I said, I hate that it happened to her. Because, see, this this is not nothing to play with. This is life or a freaking death, okay? So, you know, Jazz is just nasty, period. So, I see she made it back with the younger kids, and they're eating breakfast, and I guess they're eating a banana nut bread muffin. Or we drop the boys off at school in the morning time. I get her dressed. I get her dressed, and um, I get my seven-year-old son dressed. I get them dressed in the morning just like they going off to school. So they dressed in the morning time. So we can do school here at the house. Logan is at home school, and my seven-year-old son is homeschooled, even though Logan is not old enough to be homeschooled, but I'm still teaching her before she turns two because she's not two yet. I'm still teaching her things. But I get them fully dress. I get them fully dressed. Well, they probably don't have shoes on. They probably still have house shoes on, but I still get them fully dressed. And ma'am, why are these babies not dressed? You know why they not dressed? Because you know what she about to do? She about to go in there and get back in the bed and lock them in the room. So she's just going to drink coffee her whole pregnancy, right? 
And she wonder why she be feeling the way she does. So she just going to drink coffee her whole pregnancy. And I'm no, I know it's not no caffeine-free coffee. She's just going to sit up here and just slurp frappes all pregnancy. Okay, ma'am. Meanwhile, <laughs> Bentley look like he on crack. I swear, Po Bent, Faye Bentley, Faye Garfield, Faye Louie. Do Chrissy have a dog? I guess her dog probably doing just fine. You know what? This dog is not thriving at all. Poor thing. What is he eating? He just looks so greasy. He still look like he been dipped in uh, fish grease, y'all. This dog is not thriving at all. I, I probably really want to say that Garfield may be living a better nutritional life than Bentley is. Now, you know, Garfield has to deal with his psychotic daddy screaming and throwing tantrums and shit all over the place. But for the most part, I think he's eating right. But poor Bent, he's not eating right. Why is she pregnant sitting on the ground while I guess Bentley is out there trying to go um, potty? Why is she sitting on the hard ground? I swear this girl sit anywhere. She act like she's not even pregnant. I know you lying. I know doggone well that 12-6 does not have this dog in the kitchen sink. But y'all wanted to come at me when I said that she was being nasty with that meat in that sink. Oh, 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 my parents did this and they never got sick. And da, 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 da. But she had food poison and y'all wondering why. Because this is what she's been doing the whole time. She's fat and she's lazy and that's what she's doing. Putting that dog in the dog on scent with shit all over his feet. Bacteria and all this type of stuff that's out there on the ground. Plus him stepping in his shit and piss and stuff. And in there. I don't care if she do bleach it out. That's nasty. This, this, she is just nasty. Nasty. Do y'all, y'all, do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? <laughs> see, y'all not seeing this. Y'all not seeing this. See, I'm about to put my foot back on her neck. So after we take the dog a bath in the sink that we put our dishes and our poultry in, the twins are back at the table eating, and let's see what they're eating. Lord, I, y'all, I didn't live 40 cent alone. Okay, so don't say nothing because I'm calling her 40 cent. I'm calling her 12 six. I'm calling her everything, okay? You know who I'm talking about and you know who this video is about. I didn't live her alone. I didn't live. I didn't came back. I didn't let her get over her sickness. And she's still fixing these kids chicken nuggets. And she think it's better because she's trying to put a little Polynesian sauce with it. No, it is not better, ma'am. It is not better. Where the hell is Chris? Where is, where is he? And I know Chris didn't drop him by 20 pounds. Okay, because it has been a minute since I've been over this way. It's been a minute since I've been cruising these streets over here by her and Chris. It's been a minute since I've been over here in their neighborhood. You get what I'm saying? Y'all, let's give it up. She finally got these kids the proper bonnet that they need. And they don't have that stocking cap squeezing their fucking brains out. They don't have a stocking cap squeezing their little temples. Oh, my God. They finally got the proper thing that they need. I am so glad that you took my advice when I showed you where to get those bunnets from. Even though you didn't get them from where I told you to get them, to get them from. You got them from somewhere. And that's the only thing that matters that you're listening to me. Okay? Amaya's dancing around with her new bunnet on. She is so freaking happy. Amaya, I am so happy for you that you do not have to wear that stocking cap that your mom used to put her wigs on, okay? I am so happy for you, ma'am, that your bunny looks so freaking cute on you. Did Amaya just say, is this my bunny forever? Jay, look, 26, I'm gonna need you to start buying your kids things so they can be used to things, okay? This right here just goes to show that your babies are not used to anything. Start buying your babies things more. They're girls. Because see, what'll happen is they will grow up and they will be wanting, you know, when men and boyfriends and stuff by themselves, they, they would think that's the world. You know, kind of how you do when Chris go in there and fix that overseas and food, they would think that's the world. They never had it. So they'll be just sticking with a man just because he's doing it and he's treating them like crap. Okay? Girl. So Kaylin is showing us her bunny. But I don't even see what's the point. Like, to me, that just defeat the, defeats the purpose. Now, I know some adults do that. They put something else on their head, then they put a bunny over it so they can still have protection if their bunny slips off. But this just defeats the purpose for me. Like, what you got the bunny for? Just to show us you got a bunny? To please us, because that's what the hell we've been telling you since that you've been had that thing squeezing that girl's brain. 
Um, I don't see what's the purpose of that. You know what I'm saying? If she got the bunny on, take that stocking cap off her head, ma'am. So now we're moving along to her feeding them. And when I look at this plate, only thing I see is burnt toast. Burnt freaking toast with some ice cream? What is that, ice cream? What is that, whipped cream melted? I don't know what that is. Let me see. So the twins are about to eat their food. Ava look like, oh, please, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Aiden looking like, what's, what's even good on here to eat? Like, where's the meat? Like, I don't think I even seen her put any meat on there. I'm a meat eater, but, yeah, I was looking for the meat. He's just rubbing his little ears like, what, what is this? I want to know, do she really think that she just served them something just delicious? Is she trying to imitate school food? Because if she is, most public schools food. It's nasty, okay? Nasty. That's one thing my kids say they do not miss about public school is the food, okay? That's what it looks like she's trying to imitate. Public school food. So the kids, I guess, are finished eating, and she's walking around opening blinds. And looky, looky, what do I see? Even jazz, even 12 cent, even 40% has curtain rods. <laughs> no curtains, but she has Curtain rods, for sure. <laughs> Some nice curtain rods, too. So we're moving along, and the kids are playing with, I guess, the gifts that a subscriber got. Thank you, subscriber, for getting those kids something other than that Paw Patrol book, because I know they was getting tired of it. And as usual, their feet are filthy. I've told y'all this several times. If you look at 12-6, Walking through the house, I look at some of those babies or Caitlin them that they feet be dirty. And it was like this the first week when they moved into that new house. And I'm just like, how, Sway? Like, how it, how y'all feet dirty in this new house? But they still dirty. Does she have their feet dirty while the speech therapist is there? Well, I think I'm wrong. I think this is something that maybe the speech therapist um brought over to help them and stimulate them with their speech and everything. But... You didn't clean your babies up and shine them all up nice and pretty for when the speech therapist come over there. And secondly, why would y'all not tell the speech therapist that y'all had 19 running up and through y'all house? This is something that she should know, Dodo. I know you ain't fucking tell that lady because you're trying to keep that check going. I know you didn't try. You didn't tell her. You wrong for that. You, you, I, I, some in my bones, y'all, is telling me that she did not tell this lady that they had C-19 rolling through there. There's no way in here. That y'all gonna be still taking up for this girl when her kids over here look like they haven't even been in the tub in days and their feet look like it. So, is it still poor jazz? Is it still poor 12 6? Poor 40 cent? Stop it. 12 6 sitting up, big pregnant ass up here recording them with the speech lady. And that time to figure out. What's going on with her kids? She's trying to get content. They got to pay the rent. They got to pay the light bill. They got to put gas in the Mountaineer. I just really need to help these kids and help work with them. And like I say, I got personal experience on that. Because my son, which is, he is seven, he had a speech delay. He did not start talking until after three years old. And now, you couldn't even tell that was the case at all. I helped him. I worked with him. I Google things, I YouTube things, and everything to help him out. Put stuff all over the house. I didn't give a darn how the walls look. I take pictures, everything on walls, refrigerators. He gets up and sit back on the couch and just, you know, filming them. And it's just like, it's the dirty feet for me. That's the only thing I see. I can't even concentrate on what this sweet um, therapist is trying to teach these kids. Only thing I see is dirty feet, mangy feet. Aiden, Aiden takes that cap out. Aiden like, look, this this cap is hot, okay? And he takes his hat off, and he got them French braids. And like I told y'all, he didn't have a haircut. It looked like twelve six braided this boy hair with eyes closed. You can see Jazz helping him with the speech assignment that I guess the speech instructor just gave to her. And she just looks so uncomfortable. And you can just tell it's something that she don't do on the regular. It's something that she don't do on the regular. I didn't specialize in speech, but I was, when um, I went to college, like I told y'all, they taught us 
how to look out for autistic kids and how to be with autistic kids and stuff like that. So early on, I felt like I seen that in my son. And I don't care what it would be. It would be a cereal box. It would be an oatmeal box. I'm asking him what's the color, what, you know, just all kind of stuff about the box. You know what I'm saying? Because you always want to use stuff that they're familiar with, stuff that is around the house, nothing that's foreign to them. So you always want to use stuff, especially stuff that they like, like cereal boxes, chip bags, cookie bags, just little stuff like that. It may not seem like a good idea, but it's a start. What color is this cookie bag? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's on this cookie bag? What's on this cereal box? What color is that bird? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, you can just tell that she doesn't, and Lord, she having another one. It's just only going to get rougher from here, y'all. We in for a treat. Here we go again. Look like she just popped the camera up and just threw some paper and markers their way just so she could get some content um, to put out. It's like, girl, this is not nothing that you do with them every day. You're just doing this when you pop that camera up. Pop up, guess who? That's what she's doing. That's what she's pulling that you're not teaching them. You're just doing this for the camera. I'm topping though. Tell me why that damn go weed look like a damn head on. <laughs> it look like she just popped that motherfucker right there. Like, mm. it look like she said, I'm not even gonna pull the ear tabs <laughs> Girl, what is that on your head? Lord, all these frappes is catching up with her. Now, I know we put we gains a little weight when we pregnant. No, I'm not saying nothing about that at all. But she just all big up in the face, like she swollen, like she got fluid on her. You know why she got fluid on her? Because she's still over there, increased, salty ass food. But I swear, it look like she just put this dog on weed on and side up there like a hat. I don't see no new furniture, no new. They got that speech lady. Lord bless that lady. So I hope she got some chain of clothes in the car. They got her all in here on that uh, rented rug, y'all. That rug looks so filthy. I could just see it through the camera how filthy it is. I don't see no new pictures on the wall. I don't see no new plants. I don't see no new lamps, tables, nothing. But she going to get the house together. I couldn't bring my newborn into that. I just couldn't. We got to get organized here. Not only does his side of the room have to get organized, but the whole house has to get organized and looking neat. So when I'm laying up and propped up on the couch with my feet propped up and breastfeeding or feeding my baby formula, watching YouTube videos or editing a video, that I could just be comfortable. Uh, when she had her baby around November, December, so we'll be, spilling, we'll be smelling pumpkin spice or apple cinnamon rolling through the house. I don't think that's what's going to go on at this house. Jazz, so lady, she just sitting up there just looking at the kids like she barely want to talk to them. Like I told y'all, she just want to get some footage. My kids can't be bringing out no pencil and paper and crayons. Baby, I'm about to be drawing houses that I was drawing when I was eight years old. I'm about to be, I'm about to be drawing stick figures and all types of stuff. Like, okay. So after we are pretending to draw... We go, I guess they're at the bus stop to get Caitlin and Amaya. Tell me why this girl got these kids in the stroller. Them kids is three years old going on four. Why they not walking? Huh? Why? Tell me why. They uh, is big enough to walk with you. You walk on the outside of the sidewalk, let them walk on the inside of the sidewalk and hold hands. All three of y'all hold hands. Oh, this is like this fucking baby is just sucking her fucking brain cell. Lord, the baby up here telling her it's hot. Where is Christopher? Where is Christopher? As usual, gone in the mountaineer. This man loves to stay away from her. I'm telling y'all, this girl is going to break down when she had his dog on baby. Do you hear me? So now that I'm looking at the video when they walking back to the house with the kids, um... Getting off the bus, it looked like I see Chris pushing the stroller. So I don't know if Chris walked up there with them while they was at the bus stop. You know her. She always complaining. I'm tired. Uh, Ava says she hot. Can you come down here and help me? I feel like I'm about to pass out. Oh, I'm so sick. Oh, the sky is blue. Oh, the grass is green. So you know she was complaining because I just look like I seen his big foot ass pushing the stroller. You can only see the bottom part, but it, it, can't, it can't be Kaylin. She woke. Um, regular shoes of school and her feet are not that big. So they had to be his big fit, feet ass and those slides. You know, those slides that they share. Yeah. So just to wrap this video up, child, ain't nothing changed. Uh, the 19 has not came and changed her vibe. Well, she look like she want to be cleaner. It has not changed anything at all. Anything, she look like she got more trifling. Okay, y'all? So like I say, it's just a couple more weeks or a couple more months and this baby going to be here and we just really going to see it. Now, I don't know how long or uh, how much they going to be filming this little golden child. 
But honey, we in for a treat. Uh, can somebody get her on the line and get her on her Instagram and tell her to stop posting videos where she not checking and she see that her kids' feet are black? Now, I know this is the norm for her. You know, she used to seeing it, so it's no biggity when she see it in the camera. Because she think that's what it's supposed to be. She think that your feet are supposed to be black. But they're not, honey. They're not supposed to be black. You're supposed to take your kids to bath every day, okay? So, y'all, uh, I'm, I'm wrapping this up. I'm done with it. I don't even know if I want to go over there and see the other video. That being said, y'all, I will catch y'all on another video. Like I told y'all, I got some um, some other stuff that's coming up that I want to do on this channel. I'm not finished with reactions. Uh, I'm trying to clean some stuff up on this channel. Um, but, yeah, y'all know where I'm trying to go with this. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Because that's what they... <laughs> thank y'all. That's the only thing I'm going to say. We're not even going to be negative. Thank y'all. Thank y'all to all my new subscribers, and thank you to all my existing subscribers. Y'all know how your girl coming. Y'all know what it is. Thank you for my day ones. Thank you for the ones that's rocking with me and really know your girl ain't no no BS. That being said, I'm out.